All right, guys. I am sitting back in the classroom by myself right now, away from the general public, away from all of our custom base, and you're probably wondering why. Well, I have the worst case currently of the man flu. And if you've ever had the man flu, you will understand how bad this feels. Um, and so just to keep myself, because I still got to work today. I can't get out of work today. But um, just to keep myself uh, kind of quarantined, if you will, um, from other people here in the general public, I'm going to stay back in the classroom most of the day because I've got a lot of filming to get done in the next month. So this is going to be a great time for me to brainstorm and do some camera work. However, in today's video specifically, we're going to talk a little bit about why you were taught during your open water program to never dive with a cold, when in reality, you actually feel better by going diving. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, as I stated in the teaser, currently I am sick. I can't dive. I can't really do much other than just admin work here at the marina and dive shop. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, and I do want to kind of quarantine myself from everybody else because we've got a huge trip to Bon Air coming up we've got about 25 to 30 people headed out next Saturday so a week from what be tomorrow we have a huge group going down to Bon Air and we're going to be doing recreational diving we're going to be doing technical diving we've got a whole week of fun diving planned so I don't want to get anybody else sick and I want to give my t myself time to recover before we get down there but in today's video we're going to talk about why you should or should not be scuba diving when you're sick and when you took your open water program every single instructor out there teaches and all the training agencies harp on why you should never go diving when you feel sick whether you're congested you may not you know be able to equalize and things like that but we're going to really dwell into what happens to your body as you descend down into pressure when you are say stopped up the way i am and i'm going to show you some physics on the board that will kind of open your eyes to how things work but it will also kind of explain why some people still do go diving and why they choose to do it. All right, to start out here, we're just going to do a quick physics review or a physiological review of what's going on. So basically right now, I've got the common cold, the head cold, the man flu, whatever it is you want to call it. And here in my sinuses, this area is here, you know, above my eyes and below my eyes, they're full of mucus. All right, so I've just got all this stuffiness going on right now and what that's doing is creating a lot of pressure that's pushing out and if you ever had a head cold you will know how bad this actually feels and so all this pressure is putting out I can barely breathe through my nose um, so I've got tons and tons of pressure going out well we all understand that when you go underwater we have to contend with what's called Boyle's Law here and Boyle's Law basically says you know if you increase pressure you're going to decrease volume so here at one atmosphere I'm under one atmosphere here at the surface. Every 33 feet, I increase my atmospheric pressure by one. Well, now let's think about this for a second. If I've got pressure pushing out, if I go underwater, that means the deeper I go, there's going to be more pressure pushing in at a certain point in time. This is going to start to feel very good to me. No, we shouldn't go diving when we got some type of head cold or some type of sickness or illness. However, it is going to feel good for me. And you would think, well, if that's the case, if it feels good because we're equalizing out that pressure, wherein lies the problem of why we can't dive when we're sick? And there's two things I want you to take away from this video that's going to resort back to this chart here, back to this uh, Boyle's Law chart, and hopefully it'll give you a better understanding of why you shouldn't go diving when you're sick. So, since we have equalized pressure going underwater, it does make you feel better. However, it does not change the fact that you've got all this mucus inside your nasal cavity or your sinus cavities. So what happens is, is as we decrease our depth or as we go down in depth, obviously we're going to increase pressure 
and volume is going to decrease. That means the nitrogen cells in our body are going to start out big and then get smaller and smaller and smaller as we go under. And as they get so small, eventually your body starts to absorb them. And if we remember from Open Water 101, that is called Henry's Law. The deeper you go, the longer you stay, the more nitrogen you absorb. Well, in this case, let's say all that nitrogen, and I'll just kind of write a little in here, let's say all that nitrogen goes inside my sinus cavities or in the tissues of my sinus cavities. As I come up, pressure decreases, thus volume starts to expand. Well, here lies the biggest issue is I've got nitrogen in those areas now, and as it expands, it can't go nowhere because of all this mucus and film buildup within my body system. Thus, we can have some type of barotrauma. So you got a little tiny nitrogen cell. As you come up, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger to where eventually it can rupture through your sinuses. So that's one of the major reasons we don't want to dive when we have a cold. Yes, it does feel better to you. You have pressure pushing out. You increase the pressure as you go down. It balances out and it's going to feel good when you're under there. As a matter of fact, yesterday I was teaching a class. This is kind of how I knew I got sick and I was having a little bit of difficulty equalizing, but I felt fine. My head felt fine. It's when I got out of the water that I started having a lot of problems. So even though it does feel good to us, obviously we don't want to dive when we got a cold. Now let's go over here and let's look at the second part of this chart that we need to talk about. And let's talk about the physiological aspect of what happens when you take medication. So I can take medication to fix this, to get rid of all that stuffiness there as well. I can fix all this pressure build up in my head. I can take medication for that. However, depending on your body's tolerance to how that medication is going to react to you, it's going to also increase the effect of that medication at depth. So let's say you've got a medication that causes a lot of drowsiness. Well, as you go down in depth, as you go back and you increase pressure, you're also going to increase the effect of that medication. So if it causes drowsiness on land, obviously the deeper you go, it's going to cause even more drowsiness. And that's something that we have to contend with or we should be cautious of before we go out and dive. So as a quick recap, yes, it's going to feel better if you go underwater. Yes, the medication is going to kick in and work even better. However, the side effects of that medication is going to be even worse. And during the ascent phase of your dive, this is where all this stuffiness is going to prevent any of that nitrogen from escaping from your body. So there you have it guys. Should you go diving when you feel sick? Yes, it does feel better, but the answer is no. You should not go diving whether you are on medication or not. If you feel like I do right now, do not go diving. It may feel better as you increase the pressure on you and you know it's going to start equalizing that out. However, as soon as you get a little bit of nitrogen build up on your way up, that nitrogen can expand. It can cause some type of bare trauma, say in your sinus cavities. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, say, a decompression concern, depending on your depth and your time, but barotrauma is a real thing. Barotrauma is when you got any trapped air in any type of airspace or tissue, and it expands out rapidly because it can't naturally dissolve out of the system. So no, you should not go dive when you are sick. Even if you're on medication, even if that medication is starting to make you feel better, wait until you have completely healed from that illness or you've taken all your antibiotics. As of right now, I'm on antibiotics for a couple more days, but wait until that's done. And then you may even want to consider going out and getting a new diving medical. No, you're not going out and taking a class, but go and get a checkup by your local physician and let him tell you whether he thinks you should wait a couple more days or even a couple more weeks before you get back in the water. Now, let's kind of address the elephant in the room really quick. When you're someone like me, I own a dive shop. I dive seven days a week. I dive year round. And as a matter of fact, in seven days, I am going to be in Bonaire having the time of my life doing recreational and technical diving. How do I do this? if I stay stopped up like this? Well, the reality is I don't go diving. As far as our salvage work and things like that, I have employees that can fill in for me and take over. Even if I have students that are in current courses and I'm sick and can't teach them, I don't necessarily have to cancel their classes because we have eight full-time instructors here. One of them can kind of step in. Now, if the student doesn't want another instructor, they still want me, then that student's just gonna have to understand they're gonna have to be patient and wait until I feel better before I can get in the water with them. Because I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it kind of answers your questions of, you know, why do I, if I'm sick, 
and I feel better when I go diving, why I still shouldn't go diving. Well, once again, it's that pressure increase and decrease that we got to worry about basically boils all, and it's how the pressure increase also affects the total effect of that medication on a physiological aspect. So I kind of hope that clears up the things. Once again, guys, do what your open water instructor said. Do not go diving when you're sick. But guys, I got a few more days left. I do got to get packed up, so we are going to be doing a new packing video to show you how I travel which I've done plenty of in the past. I'll link them up top and down below, but this one specifically, I'm gonna show you how I travel with recreational and technical dive gear. As a matter of fact, I'm personally taking four different regulator sets for my trip to Bon Air. And I'm gonna show you how I can stay under the weight limit and how I do that, even taking four members of my family where two of us actually dive. So we'll be taking all our dive gear and of course all of our luggage as well. But stay tuned for those videos that will be coming out next. Because I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. But that's going to do it for today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.